Volcanic activity has a history of catastrophic explosions. In the 1980s, scientists devised a classification system for such eruptions called the Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI, which is analogous to the magnitude scale for earthquakes. Hello and welcome back to our channel, The Juicy Truth. In the previous 10,000 years, no VEI-8 volcanoes have erupted, but there have been some mighty and deadly blasts throughout human history. We present you with the top 5 largest eruptions. Number 5. Huayna Patina One of the greatest volcanic eruptions in South American history occurred on this summit. The explosion appears to have had a worldwide impact on the climate, with mud flows traveling as far as the Pacific Ocean. After the eruption, the world saw some of the coldest summers in 500 years. When Peru's Huayna Patina towers at an impressive 16,000 feet, it is surprisingly stealthy for a volcano. Its top lacks the distinctive profile typically associated with volcanoes and is situated on the edge of a deep canyon. Arequipa and Moquegua, two neighboring cities, were severely impacted by the disaster that occurred in the year 1600. It took them over a century to fully recover. Number 4. Santa Maria Volcano in 1902, Santa Maria eruption was among the century's most significant volcanic events. This dramatic eruption in Guatemala occurred after the volcano had been dormant for some 500 years and it resulted in the creation of a gigantic crater on the mountain's southwest flank, measuring nearly a mile or 1.5 kilometers in diameter. As one of a series of stratovolcanoes that rise from the Pacific coast of Guatemala, this symmetrical, forested peak is an important geographical feature. Since its previous explosion of VEI-3 in 1922, it has been continuously active. Hundreds, possibly as many as 5,000 people, perished when Santa Maria erupted in a pyroclastic flow, a fast-moving wall of scorching gas and pulverized rock in 1929. Number 3. Mount Pinatubo Pinatubo was a stratovolcano in a chain of volcanoes on the Philippine island of Luzon, formed along the subduction zone. Its catastrophic eruption was a textbook example of an explosive eruption. More than 5 cubic kilometers of debris were blasted into the air and the resulting ash column reached an altitude of 35 kilometers. Ashes blanketed the landscape, stacking up to the point where the weight caused some roofs to cave in. As a result of the explosion, millions of tons of sulfur dioxide and other particles were released into the atmosphere where they were carried by air currents to every corner of the globe, resulting in an average temperature drop of about 0.5 degrees Celsius worldwide the following year. Number 2. Chiang Bai Shan Volcano the eruption of this volcano, also known simply as the Baitushan Volcano, hurled volcanic debris as far as northern Japan, which is around 1200 kilometers. The eruption also formed a huge caldera at the mountain's peak, measuring approximately 3 miles in diameter and a half mile in depth. Lake Tianchi, also known as Sky Lake, has flooded it, making it a famous tourist attraction because of its beauty and the possibility of monsters lurking beneath the surface. The mountain, which sits on the border between China and North Korea, has not erupted since 1702 and is therefore considered dormant by geologists. In 1994, reports of gas emissions from the peak and neighboring hot springs surfaced, but no signs of resumed volcanic activity were ever detected. Number 1. Yellowstone A rumbling volcano lies dormant beneath the park's guests' feet the entire time they're there. In addition, it has erupted with tremendous force. As far back as 2.1 million years ago, again about 1.2 million years ago, and most recently around 640,000 years ago, the area was shaken by three separate eruptions, each of magnitude 8. According to the USGS, together the three catastrophic eruptions released enough ash and lava to fill the Grand Canyon. Researchers presented their findings on April 23, 2013 in the journal Science. They found that magma was being held beneath Yellowstone in such a massive blob that it would fill the Grand Canyon 11 times over if unleashed. The park's enormous crater, which is 30 by 45 miles in size, was formed by the most recent of the trio of supervolcano eruptions. According to Robert Smith, a seismologist at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, the likelihood of such a supervolcano eruption occurring today is roughly 1 in 700,000 every year. That's it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, The Juicy Truth, if you've got a thirst for knowledge that never quits. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.